Hi there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about how to increase this R345 network port outside of the house. We just received an inquiry from your force who want to install a new gateway outside the house, but he's experienced some difficult thing. First, let's move to the whiteboard and see what is the real situation we are dealing with here. Here's the case. He need to install two gateways inside the box. And the gateway will connect the sensor to the IS485. The sensor will collect the data and send to the gateway, eventually supposed to return to the router and maybe upload to the cloud. He do have a CAT6 cable connecting from the house to this box, but currently it's being occupied by the outdoor access point. The fair solution is he going to wire new cable through the house to this box. But that's the difficult thing. You think the cable is supposed to bury under the ground, and more importantly, the cable may need to pass through the wall. That's what he don't want to do. He doesn't want to punch the hole on the wall just for the cable pass through. Actually, he can use the PoE power switch. Now let's move to the demonstration saw and see how we can solve this problem. This is the Cat6 Ethernet cable. It's coming from the router in the house and pass through the wall and just reach to the outside the box. Now currently it's being occupied by this access point. We don't have additional cable we can connect to the gateway. Our goal is to expand the RJ45 port outside so eventually we can work with the new gateway. The first equipment we'll need is this PoE power switch. The PoE power switch can be powered by PoE injector or the PoE switch. So even the power source is unavailable in the box, it will be fine, we can send the power from the back end just next to the router. So first, let me just place this switch outside. And then we also have, need to have another equipment. This is the PO injector, like what we mentioned just now. We need to send the power just from the router, so we don't need to have the power source outside. OK, the first thing is let me just install this PO injector. It's simply plug and play. There's no need to configuration. OK, I just connect the AC power to this PO injector. Then I need to remove the cable, the existing cable from the router and connect to the PoE port. The next thing I'm going to do is just use this short punch cook to link the LAN port back to the router. So eventually there's internet accessing internet data from the router to this PO injector and go back to the original cable. Okay, just pick one of the LAN port, it will be fine. Then let's move to the outside. I also need to remove the cable from this access point. Okay, let me just plug the port number 5. Only the number 5 can receive the power from the remote, remote PO injector switch. Once I plug in, you can see all the indicators on. That means the switch is working. Okay, the next thing is use this short punch cook to link this access point back to this PoE power switch so we don't lose anything. And we need one of the ports for on the switch. Eventually, we got three additional ports which can work with the new gateway. The whole system just plug and play. You don't need to configure anything. Maybe it will just take a few minutes before you get the whole system up. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.